Hello! <laughs> um, part two of the um, the video. Um, so essentially this one here now, um, this as you've seen is a um, Chipson or Chipson um, Explorer Custom. Um, it's a oh despicable, horrendous, oh just just so evil of a guitar it shouldn't be in existence but it does so tough shit um any of you out there going oh my god you should never have anything like that um well there we are um so how much does this cost uh well um just over including shipping um uh just over say 240 something like that didn't come like this um it basically come all completely, I mean, I've just uh, done a pig's ear of the Matthias Jabs, um, the the paint job. But, yeah, so as you saw in the, in the earlier part of the video, uh, the unboxing part of it, essentially, um, this was um, purchased from, um, I think it's a site called Polaris for Music. Um, look it up. I'm not going to put the link in there if you want to get them, just in case we get any trouble of actually advertising for them um but yeah so this is this was ordered um i've been thinking about it. i've have had in the past um chipsons i've had a couple of them actually over the years um the, my first one was uh, a it was like an orange burst one um and it was absolutely i gigged that guitar for for years honestly it was just so dependable um brilliant guitar uh i did so many different um changes to it i don't think i think the only thing left on it was at the end of it was just like just the wood but it was absolutely gorgeous um so i've been i've i've in the last i would say over the last year i've downsized a fair few of my guitars um I th what i thought was i did a stupid thing was i'm going to get rid of a load of guitars and i'm going to get get just one really nice guitar which is this uh, 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 that thing there um a japanese fender strat actual fender strat actual fender strat yeah not a, some sort of chinese knockoff version um but then it left a really really nasty horrible taste in my mouth which was all of the hangers on the walls were empty and i tried to fool myself into thinking oh no that'll be fine that'll be fine um, I left them up there and um, in the back of my mind each of one of those hangers was actually saying film me, film me, please film me, um, film me with guitars. <sighs> so um, I haven't got the money to be for forking out say five or six hundred quid a piece so I thought um, right time for another chipson and um, I did some some researching round and a few different different websites and stuff um the options would be in were stuff like buying off timu buying off aliexpress and that didn't necessarily sort of kind of sit right um i don't know why just just i thought mm, maybe not but then i came across the website where i which i bought this and uh, uh, that's in there uh, an sg which i'll do in the next video um but I've, I've, I've always loved Matthias Jabs from the Scorpions. Um, couldn't get the a white one, and I've always loved a a custom. Um, so I bought this one. Um, two hundred and say two hundred forty, two hundred fifty quid. Um, from, from that site, and it's absolutely. I'm blown away by it. Absolutely blown by it. Blown away. Um. As you hear in the, in the music right at the start, uh, I, I use a, a quad cortex. Okay, that's a, lo a lot of money's worth for for a. Um, uh, uh, that's what I use for gigging. Love it, absolutely love it. So start off with your good tone to start off with, yeah. But this plays really, really lovely, and it, and the question I want to ask all the haters out there, right? So I've got behind me is my what I call my peachy. It's my peachy. It's a 2020 
um, Gibson, an actual Gibson Les Paul Classic 2020. That guitar is my main. I could do any gig on that guitar and have an amazing sound. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Every time I pick it up, it is oozing with quality. Okay? But myself, like a lot of other guitar players out there, um, who are not rolling around in, say, thousands and thousands of pounds worth of cash, just stuck in the bank, wasting away, I, especially these days, yeah, if I'm spending, say, five or six hundred pounds of guitar, it's a lot of money. So I want, I'm not going to expect to get the same quality as my peachy, yeah? Um, I mean, that was just under two grand. And worth every penny. Absolutely worth every penny. So, um, so the question is really, and especially in this, in this last, uh, I would say, six months or so. Right. So Gibson and Epiphone, right, they decided that they were going to do these, and they have been doing it for a long time, um, the Inspired by Gibson range. Yeah, so the Epiphones, which are, um, and, and I've had so many Epiphone Les Pauls, none of them bad, but none of them did any kind of inspiring with me. And so I'm sorry, they just, they were okay. They were, they just, they were, I suppose they were workhorses. You'd end up spending, say, four under quid, something like that, on a second hand, um, or 350 for a second hand Epiphone Les Paul. Um, custom or whatever, whatever. I've honestly, I've had, I must have had about 20 of them. Um, and every one of them was, to varying degrees actually, were okay. Nothing wrong with them, but nothing made me go, oh my God, it's just stunning. Yeah. I have had a lot of other guitars at the same sort of price um, of that other makes. Gretsch. Gretsch. I Gretsch. GT5, some, some weird names. Basically, it was um, the double cut one, Duo Jet. That was absolutely stunning. One of the nicest guitars of any price point that I have played. And I think I paid something like about four or five hundred pounds for that. Fantastic. So keep your eyes up for those guys. But now they've, they've got these. Uh, Epiphone brought up these. Um, uh, the inspired by Gibson ones. So they upgraded and changed the pickups and a few other bits and pieces of it. Um, there's been the change in the headstock from everyone hated the old the old Epiphone uh, um, Les Paul uh, types and um, the headstocks and now they changed them. But they've also changed the price. So an Epiphone inspired by Gibson one guitar now is not that far off the same price as an actual Gibson. Now I'm not going to pay. I mean, I paid for that one there, that red three three five behind me. That's an earlier um, inspired by Gibson one. I've still Epiphone. It's got much much better pickups in it. And honestly, that that guitar's and again, I could play any any gig on it. But you're still paying. I think I still paid some about four hundred pound. Now. This is my, my question to you guys. Right. Who are you buying these guitars for? You're buying it for the person who is um, uh, watching you at a gig? Are you buying it for your nan? <laughs> no. Are you buying it for yourself? Yeah. Um, if you're out there and you're expecting to pay £240 for a guitar, that this, this one... Just a normal Gibson Les Paul Custom, yeah, sorry, Gibson Explorer Custom, will set you back within the price of between four and, f and a half, oh, and five and a half thousand pound. Four and a half to five and a half thousand pound, depend on what you, where you get it from. 240 pound. Now, I've, I'm sure you've heard lots of people saying, um, is it worth, what would this be? I mean, 20 odd ones of these? Is it worth that? Or are you paying four and a half thousand or five thousand pounds 
Um, for a guitar, this is maybe say 10, 15, 20% better. Um, at the end of the day, I'm buying these guitars for myself. Um, I'm buying it because I've got gas. Um, gear acquisition, acquisition syndrome. Essentially, uh, I love guitars. I absolutely love guitars. And, I, and a lot of my guitars, um, I trade on or sell, and I get other guitars. Especially the same with gear. This, I've always wanted. I love the Explorer shape. I've loved Matthias Jabs. I had no problem whatsoever popping down to my Lira's hard, hardware store, getting some white paint, <laughs> badly applying it on, but it does me. Um, and yeah, it's just, it, it plays fantastically. Um, so let me have a look at, let me read you out the specs on this. So this is the, the specs off the, um, the website, which I ordered it from. Um, so roasted mahogany body, I can't tell without taking the paint off or taking the pickups on it. These ones, I, know, I normally do is I normally change the pickups myself. But this one, um, I'll explain in a little bit but the difference is why I couldn't see that at the time because I didn't actually fit them. So, um, so roasted mahogany body, one piece mahogany neck, um, 60s taper um, C slim neck profile. I've, had, I've given this to about four or five different people to play and, and it's just, I just have a little play around with. Um, honestly, every one of them has gone, wow, what a nice neck. What a really nice neck. The neck on it, actually, so you haven't got any of the, um, the fret nibs and stuff like that. The, the actual frets, as they came, really nice. No, no nasty harshness on them. Um, I wouldn't say they're overly polished, but, it just, it, the, but to be honest, um, they, they feel just like I've been playing it for a while. Yeah? Um, so really nice, really nice player neck. Um, mini tuners, yeah, mini tuners. Uh, well, it's it's in fairness, it's holding. It it is holding tune. Um, they feel a little bit rough when you're tuning. There's a little bit of play in them, and I've done up the the screws on on the ends, but it's holding in tune. Okay. Um, Nut width, uh, 1.69. Now, it's supposed to be a bone nut. So one of the things that I had to get done, and the reason why I didn't change these pickups myself, was um, the nut was badly cut, in fairness. Um, it was, I tried to get, get some, um, some nut files in there, and it was very, very roughly cut. There was lots of jagged, jagged parts in, in there, I could feel. So when I put the strings on there, when I was trying to tune the strings, they were catching. Um, so I tried, tried just very finely. I've done a lot of different nuts over the, over the years, um, especially my nuts. And, um, and a big chunk came out. Um, and that was the end of games. So I thought, okay. Um, so I got a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend that does um, a lot of guitar tech work. Um, brilliant bloke. Uh, and um, he's fitted a, a bone nut. The original nut was advertised as a bone nut that wasn't, it was plastic. So, nick of a naughty. 240 quid, just keep all that in mind, all right, guys? Um, so, um, new bone nut in, uh, in, installed on it. Uh, Indian rosewood fingerboard or ebony fingerboard. Now, I went for the the, the rosewood. I don't know, I, just, I, I always find ebony to be a little bit too hard. I really like a nice, a nice um, uh, rosewood fingerboard. This is what, I be, what I'm used to. I don't mind the maple, um, but as you can see, all the ones behind me there now, um, they're all rosewood. So yeah, so that was a choice though I could, but on the same price, to be fair, to have on a pair of them. Um, MOP blocks, so you've got the, the mother of pearl blocks. Are they mother of pearl? Mm, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so, but they look the job, yeah? Anyone who goes out for, on a night out to go and see a band and complains about whether the, the neck has got mother of pearl in it or not, needs to get a life, all right? They, they look and do the job. They tell me where I am on the neck. I've got nice mark, neck, uh, neck markers. A lot of places I play is in the dark. 
Um, and I, 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 I really struggle. I can't. I, I, I don't know if, how many of you got this. Where you find that you, can, you, if there's no fret markers on there, I really struggle playing. I play a, a lot by sight. But anyway, going back, um, twenty-two jumbo frets, um, Nashville um, Trinomatic Bridge. Yeah, cool. Uh, and it does the job. Yeah, um, aluminium stop bar t tailpiece here. Um, to, uh, the toggle switch. Toggle switch is a little bit, I'm not sure if you can hear this. It's, it's, it's like as if there's a lot of missing underneath here. So all of the, yeah, all of it you can get, you can cure there, is actually getting it coming from the, it sounds a bit plasticky. So I'll probably change that out, but it works. Yeah. Um, black finish, go hardware, humbuckers. Now, I really, really wish a lot of people these days are buying these guitars. Yeah, they are without a doubt fantastic value for money. They are. I'm sorry, I don't give a shit what you say. They are fantastic value for money. Um, if the makers of these just use a little bit of common sense and change and just put you, I bought these replacement humbuckers here now from Amazon. Um, and they were they were thirty pound and thirty pence. <laughs> Where the thirty extra thirty pence comes from, I don't know. But thirty pound and thirty pence for a pair, not just one, of humbuckers, um, Fleor. So these were the Alnico Five overwound ones. Thirty pound and thirty pence. Um, the only reason I didn't put them in myself is because I had someone else put the the bone nut in. So I said to him, oh, while you're there, can you just stick the, just stick the humbuckers in at the same time? Um, <clears throat> and honestly, it just would make such a difference. But a tip, when you get these Chibsons, you might get one that is good straight out of the box. But the vast majority of them are, they do need a little bit of, a bit of investment in. But you're talking, especially these days, the quality of some of the, 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 the tuners and pickups and, and all that lot that you put in these things you know, are pennies. Yeah. So what if I had done to this store some new nut, new pickups, um, new strings? That's it. Yeah. Um, so you're talking, I paid 30 quid for the, for the pickups, 30 quid for the, uh, sorry, I think it was £5 if that. For the new nut, new a new bone nut installed. So you're talking sixty-five, seventy pound, on top of the two forty I, I paid for the guitar and delivery, um, and uh, absolutely fantastic. So let's play a bit, a little, just a little bit of. I'll give you some sounds, guys. Yeah. So we, we, I'm using um, uh, a um, plexi and a um, AC30 tone, which I normally use for the band, and it sounds a little bit like this. Forty quid, absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Honest to God. Um, but the point I was making was, if the, the makers of these guitars just just spent maybe like an extra ten or fifteen quid on on these guitar on these on the pickups, vast majority of of chips and pickups straight away, like this one. I've got some new pickups on uh, the, the SG. Got some new pickups that are coming for that. Um, uh, they are unplayable because they squ absolutely squeal like a pig. Um, they're not nice sounding. 30 quid. 30 pound for these humbuckers off Amazon. They were, they were here um, in, I think it was less than 24 hours on Amazon, Amazon Prime. 
Um, so, right, downsides. Um, now, I would say that the, that again, that start off with, they're not going to be the same as a £4,500 guitar. They're not. I'm sorry, guys, they're not. I love it. Uh, I, I'm more than happy to play it. I would say these are equally on par with an Epiphone. Just definitely. I mean, if you're thinking you're still paying on the second-hand market between, I would say, two, uh, two and a half, uh, 250 to 350 pounds for a second-hand Epiphone, these blow those things out of the way. Yeah? Because there's still a lot of Epiphones out, out there on like the Facebook marketplace and stuff like that, which are... Um, are uh, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I remember having a, a three pickup SG. Um, it was the the, the uh, Epiphone SG Les Paul. Yeah, that was potentially. Um, I've I've bought uh, a, a blow up kayak. I wouldn't take that out as a paddle. Yeah, I wouldn't even trust it because it'd probably fall apart within about two seconds. It was that bad. Um, uh, this would be a good paddle, however. This would be a really good paddle. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, where was I? Anyway, yes. So, um, cons. Um, I found the main cons of um, of the guitars is not the guitar. Was the the shipping, the shipping, and the communication with uh, uh, with the seller. Um, so the one that the, 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 the company that I used, um, Pol Polaris for music, um, once you get on the site, there's a lot, there's a lot of choices. Um, and in fairness, what and the reason why I went with them is because of the feedback that I had from so many different people that have bought um, guitars off them. I think there's, oh, uh, uh, Dave Barlow guitars, he's reviewed one of the exactly the same guitars. Um, and... Um, yeah, fantastic. So the reviews of them were fantastic. However, so I pl I I placed my order, um, and it wasn't even shipped for I think it was something like about two or three weeks, which is not really good. When especially when it was in stock, if it wasn't in stock and it was being made, having to wait to come in, fair enough. I didn't have any communication from the the um, the seller to say it was going to be a delay. Again, you're paying £240, and they're made in China. You're not expecting to be 24-hour delivery. But Timu these days, Timu, you buy stuff off Timu, is it within, with you within about five or six days. Anyway, um, so I would say, guys at Polaris or um, Jason Gia, please just, even if you get someone or one of your moderators to, to, to have access to the delivery and stuff like that, so they can give you updates. If... If you give us updates on a regular basis, we feel informed. We're not just left feeling, oh shit, I've just spent 240, 250 pounds, which is not, you know, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap either. Yeah, it's still a lot of money for if you haven't got it. 10 pounds is a lot of money if you haven't got a tenner. Yeah. So you don't feel that. If you tell us and keep us up to date, we won't feel as nervous from buying from you. Um, so this, when I, when I bought this one, I, uh, opted for the option of China Post. Um, there was another one called SF. I'm not entirely sure what the hell that stands for. The difference being, so this, okay, was, um, wasn't shipped out and even booked for delivery. Yeah. For like about, about two weeks or something like two or three weeks, but it still took another, I think it was another three weeks to get to me. The tracking on it wasn't the best. I had to try loads of different apps. Um, and eventually it went via some China um, um, stations, then to Parcel Force, back to the China Post, to China, the Parcel Force, back to this and that to that. Um, oh, don't forget, keep an eye on your emails when you do email, when you do buy these, because some, this one didn't, but the SG did, had I had to pay um, custom like a custom charge? I think it was something like about twenty four, twenty five pounds, something like that. Um, but yeah, so that that I would say the communications with the seller. Um, apparently, Kathy Guitars 
is you've got really good communications, but they're a bit more expensive. I don't know why. I got a sneaky feeling they probably come from exactly the same seller, uh, as in like the, the the source of getting the guitars, and they just, they just sell them on. But but I, I can't I can't vouch for that because I've never used Cathy guitars. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that well, I would that I would say that and the pickups. If they stuck a tidy pair of pickups in to start off with, you would find that you would be able to play it from the off, and you would get a hell of a lot better feedback. Yeah, but if you don't and you and you scribble on on maybe a ten pound, thirty pound for the two guitars, the two humbuckers together, as in the, that was fifteen pound each. Yeah, if they're willing to set to to basically buy these. The horrific things that's in that SG, what that can was, and what was in this originally. Honestly, if they change them out, and they'll sell a hell of a lot more guitars. Um, okay, so um, let's give you some tones then. That's what you've been waiting to hear, right? So, like you said, you've got your I got my my bridge pickup here. So these are the overwhelmed ones. I'm using the Plexion AC30 um, patch on my, on my um, Quad Cortex. <laughs> yep. Middle pickup, or middle. <laughs> Um, let me put it on a clean tone. They do, these are a little bit hotter. I wanted to be a little bit hotter, to be fair. Neck pickup. I'll leave it on the clean for a second. Plenty of sustain. Um, I absolutely love this guitar, honestly. Absolutely love this guitar. Um, so yeah, you can spend two hundred and forty pound on um, on a guitar like this. Not care <laughs> if you spray, I do a bit of a shit spray <laughs> spray job on it, um, and. Um, and still have a lot of fun on this guitar. To those of you who are the haters out there, um, if you want to spend four and a half grand on the guitar, which is only 10% better than this, it's up to you guys. Um, so yeah, I, I would say if you, yeah, when you are ordering, um, from, from, these, from these sellers from Polaris and Jason Gia, um, I would all straight away, straight away, right from the from the good go, is um, one order via SF, the delivery SF, comes a hell of a lot quicker. Uh, my SG, I think that was that was ordered, placed the order, and with with it with me in the house in something like about eight or nine days, if that, from China. Um, I would also 
You shouldn't have to, but I would also um, keep on top of them, asking them when is it when is it um, being shipped? When is it being? Because once it's being shipped, it's out of their they're out of their hands, and it's just down to the to the delivery firm. And to be fair to them, they can't they can't control that. Yeah, um, but I will definitely be ordering more. Um, yeah, definitely. I would say once this is done, I'll do a video on that. I'm changing out the tuners. The tuners are sat here ready to go. Geica ones off Amazon. Again, I think it was something like £22 for locking tuners. Um, there are some, the Fleor um, humbuckers coming for, for it. But I think they were the um, uh, vintage PAFs, I think. For those, so that's, they're coming soon. So as soon as I get those that in, in that guitar, I will um, do a video on that and let you know my thoughts on that, guys. But um, expect to see, I know I see this every time and I end up um, not putting out another, another video for about a year, but expect a lot more of these, of these um, videos coming soon, guys. Anyway, all the best, guys. Um, Polaris, P-O-L-A-R-I-S 4, number 4, Music, I think it's called, um, or Kathy's Guitars. Polaris for Music was who I got these, this and the SG from. I'll be placing another order with them very, very, very soon. Anyway, I'll be seeing you as soon, guys, and um, have fun.